Hey everyone, today I want to review five different Printify products that I wanted to put in my stores. It's a POD that I'd wanted to try for a while, but I'd heard that their shirts aren't very good quality. I don't know, I didn't get any myself. I'm getting those printed elsewhere, but there were five other things that I wanted to try. So today I'm going to show you the pillow, the clock, the Oliver tote bag, the phone case, and a color changing mug. So let's get started. First we have the pillow here. It came in a plastic bag like this, inside a poly mailer like this. There was also a packing slip that had my business name on it, no prices or anything, so you don't have to worry about that for your customers. The first thing I noticed about it is that it's nice and soft. I really like the way it feels. It's nice and fluffy. They didn't skimp on the padding inside, uh, so that was good. And I don't know if you can see my uh, pattern there. I wanted it to kind of look like it had texture, so that's part of my design. You can put whatever color or pattern you want. I'm happy with the print. It's clear and crisp. I had it on both sides. If I'm doing this again, I will probably flip the other the design on the other side so that it's um, right or so that it's the opposite way that it is over here. As it is, I did it this way, but that's lesson learned. So let's open it up. It's nice that you can take this off and wash it. In feeling this fabric, it's not too flimsy. I did review an all over sequin pillow from another POD before. Fabric was real real sketchy. It seemed like it would fall apart. This there's some substance to it. It's not super thick, but it's, you know, it's certainly acceptable. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll just zip that back up. And I don't know if I mentioned the pillow is uh, 12 inches square. So it's a nice size for a couch. Obviously I made this for putting in the camper. So I'd say it's one for one so far. Next, we'll talk about the clock. And that came in this box with, of course, some bubble wrap. I made this with kind of a, a tropical theme for our bathroom. Clever, I know. <laughs> but um, I got the, the wood look on the outside. You can get white or black. You can also get white or black on the number lines and the hands. It's got the little hanging thing here. And it takes one AA battery. I've had that battery in for about three weeks because I wanted to make sure that this clock kept time well before I reviewed it, and it has. It's stayed right on right on time. The second hand moves, moves nice and smoothly. It doesn't feel like a super cheap clock you might get at the dollar store. Um, so I have a lot of ideas for these clocks. I, I like it a lot. It's got the plastic on the front, but um, the print looks really nice. And yeah, I'm really happy with the clock as well, so I'd say we're we're on a good streak here. Okay, third is the all over print tote bag. And I knew that I was getting a 16 inch tote bag, but it was still bigger than I expected. They make a 13 inch square, 16 inch and 18 inch. So this is the medium and it's all over print. So this design back here was mine as well. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. I wasn't sure if it was going to look too dark or too light. Sometimes you're not sure if the mock-up is really accurately depicting what you're getting, but I think it really, really is. Again, the print is nice and sharp and clear. Got it on both sides. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a gusset here, so the bottom would be kind of flat if you have when you have stuff in it. it. Depends on what you're putting in it, I guess, as to whether it would stand up or not. The inside is lined with the same black as the handles, so that's nice. If you're using it as a grocery bag, it'll hide stains and, and whatnot. Um, it's not flimsy like grocery bags often are, though, the reusable ones. Sometimes they're just, you know, really limp. But this is, this is nice. It's nice canvas material. And I think that the handles are affixed pretty well. Time will tell on that. Depends on how much you know wear and tear it gets, but they seem to be you know well attached and neatly. It doesn't seem like it was slapped together. So 
I'm really happy with it. It's a it's a nice looking tote bag, and like I said, it was even bigger than I expected. So uh, overall, I think this was the thing I was the most surprised, pleasantly surprised by, and I definitely want to put some of my designs on these tote bags. So that's number three. Number four is the phone case, and it came in this little sleeve in, I believe, a padded envelope. It's got, my design is Lake Superior with the colors of an agate in there. Uh, plastic, of course, but it doesn't feel like the real br brittle, thin plastic that cracks easily. Um, it's kind of, it's flexible plastic. And it has a separate bumper. So to put on my phone, I found that it was easier to put the bumper on first and then put it into the case as opposed to just popping the phone into the the two things together. So let's do that. It kind of snaps in on the top. Well, I don't hear it snap now, but it did before. Anyway, you can tell that it is it is in there. It has the bumper has the button covers and so it does make it a little harder to push and I don't really like that but it's not really the fault of the case that's just the way it is it's protecting those buttons um, so maybe I just need stronger fingers but the switch there's a hole for that and of course there's holes for the the microphone and everything and the bumper does is raised above the surface of the glass so it will protect the phone. Some of the some cases don't even come up to the glass, and so there's pretty much you don't have any chance if you drop it face down. So I'm happy with the printing, happy with the way it fits. Adds a little weight, not a lot. That's to be expected. The tough part about this case is getting it off. It's a little hard. I found it's easiest if I start on the bottom. If you have any tricks to that and you've gotten this phone case, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, I'm happy with this too. And uh, I'd call that another win. So last is the color changing mug. And what I've heard is that no matter what POD you get these at, you can still sort of see the design when it's cold. It's not completely black. I don't know if you can tell, but I've heard you can kind of uh, work around that by designing with more shades of gray rather than black. And that might obscure it a little bit more. So. It's not unusual to be able to see it a little bit. I wish it was completely black, but this is the way it is. So it came in this box with this wrapped around it so that none of the surfaces of the mug were touching the outside of the box. And of course there were no chips or, or cracks in it when it got here. So overall, maybe I would prefer a styrofoam clamshell, but then again, that's probably worse for the environment, so this is perfectly acceptable. I don't have a problem with that. So um, let's take this to the kitchen and we'll put some hot water in it and see how this works. Okay, we'll see if I can do this here. I've got some boiling water that I just boiled on the stove, so it just I just now turned it off. And I'm gonna pour it in and see if I can be ambidextrous here. Okay, I'm dripping everywhere, but that's okay. And you can see it's already rising from the bottom. That shape there is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, in case you're wondering. So the idea is that it says bottoms up because it's the UP. kind of slows down there at the top because it's not filled to the rim, but from past experience, I believe it will lighten up there as well after a couple minutes. Okay, you, you can see it's gonna, it's gonna finish it all the way to the top, and I don't think the whole handle went white in the past. It's just not hot enough to do that, but you can see how well the design is visible now. And it takes a few minutes, quite a few minutes, for it to go back to black. In fact, when I 
turn this off, I will time it and see how long it takes to go back to where you can't see it. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, here we are at 15 minutes and you can see that the handle did get uh, partially white, but there is, um, there's no darkness on the mug yet at all. Of course, I'm not drinking out of it, so it might cool off faster if there was, obviously it would cool off faster if there was less liquid in it. Um, I've just left the amount I poured in, but that gives you an idea of how, about how long it, it stays light like that. So at 30 minutes, I finally poured about half of it out to simulate uh, having maybe drunk that much in about half an hour. And now we're at 40 minutes and about half of it is dark again. So it goes dark a lot faster, of course, when there's no liquid in there. Now I'm going to do one more test. I've emptied it um, and I'm going to pour in some water that's straight from the tap, as hot as it gets from the tap, and see if it's hot enough to change it back. The water in our tap at its hottest is not too hot to hold your fingers under, but it's close. If you have sensitive hands, you wouldn't want to touch it. It's not scalding, but I just wanted to see how effective it was if it wasn't boiling. And it looks like it is getting lighter again. Yep, definitely. So I think even water from the tap or heated up in the microwave, not to the boiling point, would also make the mug change. So that's good to know. So there you go. There's the five products from Printify. I'm happy with all of them. I definitely plan on ordering all of them. I expected that maybe one or two or maybe even three of them I wouldn't be as impressed with. But they're really, I don't think there are any losers in this bunch. I like them. And like I said, not sure if there's something different about their shirt printing facilities that, that some people have said the shirts aren't the greatest quality. But, you know, you'll have to, if you're thinking of doing shirts with Printify, order a sample for yourself just to check because, you know, it could be some bad ones slip through and those are the people who, you know, went online to talk about it. So... I don't know about that, but I mostly want to use Printify for these uh, other items. So, uh, yeah, two thumbs up from me. Really happy with them, and the shipping was, was fairly fast. I didn't make note of how long it was. Sorry about that. It was kind of during the thick of the pandemic anyway, and so it probably didn't accurately reflect how fast they would normally uh, get to your customer, but... Anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. Please subscribe, drop any comments you have or questions below, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.